In this video, I am going to explain to you what affiliate marketing is and how it can work for you as a beginner. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks on how to find success online. All right, so as I just mentioned, uh, I'm going to explain to you step by step what affiliate marketing is and how you can get started as a beginner. Maybe you're looking for uh, different ways to make money online, maybe to supplement your income. Maybe you have seen or heard or read that people are making full time income plus some with affiliate marketing. And it's true, you can make very good money with affiliate marketing as long as you understand what you're doing and how you can do it successfully, how you can help the customer, how you can make money for the business and put some change in your pocket. All right, so without further ado, Affiliate marketing and its most simplest form is uh, affiliate marketing is the process of recommending a product or service to solve a problem. So let's break that down. So in general, there are three components to affiliate marketing and each one has probably an equal say or an equal weight as far as their role or their responsibility. There is the consumer. The consumer is going to be the person that's buying the product or service. There's the content creator. So that's going to be you, me, whoever is looking to make cr content to help somebody. And then there's going to be the company that offers the product and pays the commission. So let's let's look at some examples and I'll explain to you what affiliate marketing is and how it works and, and how this can apply to you. So uh, a, a consumer has a problem. For example, maybe they want to lose weight. Uh, maybe they want to make more money. Maybe they want to make more money online or maybe even they want to learn about the new iPhone. New iPhones come out every year and they want a little bit more information. The content creator, which is me or you or anyone that's interested in affiliate marketing, uh, the content creator creates content answering the question. So maybe they create a, a piece of content that says, here are 10 ways to lose weight. Now, here are 10 ways to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. Or maybe they create something like, here's how you can make $100 per day. Or even 10 facts about the iPhone that you didn't know. So the content creator creates content based on the customer's problem, concern, or question. So the next step is the content creator gets the affiliate link from the advertiser. In this case, uh, we'll use Amazon Associates for example. Amazon Associates is the largest affiliate network out there because it's attached to Amazon.com, which is the largest e-retailer out there. As the content creator, what I would do is I would sign up for Amazon Associates. You just enter in some information. It takes probably 10 to 15 minutes. Once you enter in your information, the the, the the company, so Amazon in this case, is going to give you a unique username and code. That username slash code is attached to the URL. Uh, the URL is the web address to the product or service. And then the advertiser is going to provide or input that URL into your dashboard. The dashboard will include things like your payment information, how much, how many clicks, all the different analytics that you need to determine how successful you are. These are very, very critical things. I urge you to spend some time learning about dashboard and analytics and all of that good stuff. Then the next step is the content creator adds that special link that I just referenced to his or her content and adds a call to action. So. Uh, for example, again, going back to our, our three examples that we used a little bit earlier, click here if you want to lose 10 pounds in eight days, or click here if you want to learn the super secret recipe to help you lose 10 pounds in eight days. Here's my number one solution to make money online. And then click here to learn more or buy the new iPhone. So the content creator creates a call to action with a, bu a button or a link, and that will send them to the affiliate product or service that they're recommending. So if the click if the customer clicks the link and buys the product everybody wins the customer wins because they have their their issue or their problem solved uh, with the product or service that they purchased the advertiser makes money selling the product or service and the content creator makes a commission so let's break that down a little bit more uh, for example let's go back to the the, the iphone example um, the content creator recommends the iphone says click here to buy the iphone the customer or the consumer buys that iphone and let's say they buy it from Amazon. The customer's happy because the iPhone gets shipped to them in two days or whatever. The content creator, which is you or me, we get paid a portion of the sale. Let's say they spent $100 on the iPhone. Uh, we may get a 4% commission off of each sale. And then the, the Amazon Associates or Amazon.com gets to make a sale. Usually with the content creator, it's either a set rate or it's a percent of the total sale. For example, Bluehost does a set rate of like $65 per sale, 
versus Amazon, which is a, a percent, usually between four and 10%. All right, so let's talk about how it works for you as a beginner. Um, the first thing, absolute first thing that you need to do is you need to find a niche. Now, the most popular niches that are out there are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. Those are the most popular. Those are the most competitive, but you can still make money if you are interested in those four niches. Also note too that any niche can work. It's just how much, um, how much content you'll have to create in order to uh, start finding the level of success that you that you're looking for. So know that health, wealth, relationships, and technology are the biggest ones. But you could create content about batteries or um, nail polish, for example. The next step you want to do as a beginner is you want to decide on your platform. The most popular platforms that are out there are YouTube, blogging, and podcasts. Now, what I recommend, and not a lot of people talk about this choose a primary platform and then a secondary platform. In my mind, a primary platform is YouTube blogging or podcast. A secondary platform is a social media like LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter. That should be your second uh, platform. And then you should actually drive traffic back to your primary or your first level. Uh, so you decide a platform. The reason why you want to do a, a decide a platform second and not third is because your keyword research, which I'll talk about in just a minute, will depend on the platform that you choose. YouTube results, search results are going to be very different than blogging and podcasts. So you want to make sure that you decide your platform before doing your keyword research. Now on to keyword research. Basically, keyword research is the art and it's an art into finding what the customer is searching for. For example, a customer may Google how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. That is a direct search result. And you want to base your content around search results instead of what you want customers to know. You want to figure out what they're asking so you can answer that question and provide your affiliate information. That is key. That's critical. That is one of the first beginner mistakes that people make is they create content based off of what they think people want to know versus actually going out and figuring out what people want to know and what they're asking. So you want to find, I would say maybe a hundred keywords to focus on. And now if you're a beginner, you want to do what's called niching down. Niching down is the practice or the art of finding competition in a niche that is a little less competitive. For example, if we, if we did how to lose 10 pounds, that's going to be very competitive. Everybody's creating content around that keyword or, or niche. So as a beginner, you want to niche down to how to lose 10 pounds in, ta in, in 10 days, how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days as a single parent. Again, you want to do your research, keyword research, and find out exactly what people are searching for while niching down. The reason why you want to niche down is it's going to be less competitive. There will be less people that are, are, are creating content around how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days as a single parent versus how to lose 10 pounds or even how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. What I would recommend is do what's called and or four. For example, how to lose 10 pounds and make money online or how to lose 10 pounds for beginners and people that only have two hours a day. Use add, add quantifiers like and and for and that will help you niche down and find keywords or phrases that people are asking. Now, the best way to do this, to keyword research, is to go right into your search bar, whether that is on YouTube or Google or Bing, if that's your primary method, and start typing. Google and, and, and YouTube will do what's called auto-suggestion or autofill. They'll actually return results for you with things that people are actu actually ser searching for. They'll, they'll return results for you with things that people are actually searching for. So you, it, it's not going to be some great mystery. You want to just go in and make sure that you dedicate at least one or two days creating, finding, and, and, and compiling a list of keywords that you're going to create content on. The next step is to start creating content. Now, the whole purpose of you creating content is to add value to someone's life. You want to answer the question completely. For example, if someone is Googling again, how to make more money online as a beginner, you want to go in and you want to give them every step and some even some bullet points on how to make money online as a beginner and then provide your recommendation. You also want to include in there uh, or which you'll include in there eventually is a link or a button and that'll take them to an affiliate offer. But we'll talk about that in just a moment. But again, the whole purpose of you, the content creator, is you want to create so much content, so much helpful content, put all of your time, energy, effort into this single 
blog post and you do that again and again and again, you will help someone and you'll make money in return. The biggest mistake that beginners make is they go in and into it thinking about the amount of money that they can make instead of how, how, how to help someone. If you go in with the mindset of the amount of money you can make $100 per day, $1,000 per day, whatever, you will get burned out. You won't be as helpful as you can be and people will see through you and they'll go on to someone that is helpful. So make sure you recreate what's called an ecosystem of content. Go in with the mindset that you are going to start, you are going to create at least 50 pieces of content with the mindset that you're just going to keep creating content until you find success. Sometimes it takes 50 pieces of content. Sometimes it takes 100 pieces of content. Just go in with the mindset that you are just going to keep creating content in this niche until you find success. So the next step is find affiliate networks. Now, the reason why I like to have, uh, I recommend finding affiliate networks at this step is so that you have already created content, you've started uploading content, and you are finding affiliate networks based on the, the keyword research and the content that you've created and not the other way around. There are many, there are hundreds if not thousands of affiliate networks that are out there that will help you make more money online. The biggest affiliate network that's out there is Amazon Associates. While they're the biggest and the easiest to get started with, they pay probably the lowest commission. So you want to do some research. The easiest way to find an affiliate network that'll work for you is, is type in in search in Google niche affiliate program. For example, basketball, basketball affiliate programs, and you'll get a complete result of a number of different um, affiliate networks that are out there for basketball. Just do that for your niche and you will be able to find affiliate programs that work for your niche. All right, so now that you have found affiliate networks, you are going to um, actually switch gears a little bit and get into email marketing. If you want to make money online as an affiliate marketing, you need to learn email marketing. Email marketing is critical, pivotal, it's vital to your success as an affiliate marketer. The reason why you need to get started with the email marketing is number one, there's no guarantee your customer is going to come back. So say you came to this YouTube channel, there's no guarantee that you're going to find my information and come back again. So you want to, I want to collect your email address. Number two, email marketing converts at twice the rate as other types of marketing that are out there. So it's pivotal to get people on your email, email list. Number three, it takes between five and 12 touch points before a customer becomes, becomes a buyer. So you don't want to spend your time, energy, and possibly your money creating content for them to go somewhere else and purchase the product through them. So you make sure that you learn email marketing. Next, you want to go back and add affiliate links to your content. What I actually recommend that you do is add your affiliate links to your opt-in page. So with email marketing, and you'll learn this once you start getting into to email marketing, email marketing consists of a landing page and a thank you page. A landing page is where a customer goes to when you when they heed that call to action. So if you put in, click this link to learn how to lose 10 pounds in eight days, they click the link, it takes them to a landing page where you secure their email address and you possibly give them something in return. So you may want to, so you may say something like, um, Click this, uh, enter your email address to get this free keto recipe guide. They enter in their email address, they get that guide, and then you've added them to your email list. So after the they hit the landing page and enter in their email address, that will automatically take them to a thank you page. That thank you page will have an affiliate link or an affiliate button. You'll put there in big bold letters, click this link to buy the product that you're recommending. Then they they click the link, they buy the product. Next, you want to make sure that you track your success with analytics. Analytics is probably the second most important thing after after email marketing that people forget and omit. Because numbers can be a little confusing, a little bit dicey, a little bit, sh not shady, but a, a little bit frustrating, confusing. If you don't know your analytics, you don't know your click-through rate, you don't know your... Um, um, click through to buy, you, you don't know your, your traffic, your page views, how much time they're spending on page. If you don't know these things, you don't know affiliate marketing and you don't know where you need to improve. For example, if, if someone, if, if I have like a 3% click through rate, I need to, kn I know that I need to create a better call to action. I want my click through rate to be 10 or 15% ideally, but if it's lower than that, I need to generate more, more interest. I need to peak that interest and I need to create a stronger uh, call to action. 
make sure that you learn and understand your analytics. After that, make sure you repeat those same steps three through eight over and over again until you find the level of success that you're looking for. Once you've repeated those steps, the next step is to get paid with either a direct deposit or a check in the mail. Just know that you will not be paid immediately for affiliate marketing. Um, companies like to verify that the purchase was made. There's no shadiness going on. You didn't have your cousin buy it uh, from your from your home. Usually it can take 30 days or more to get paid with affiliate marketing. Make sure you click that first link in the description if you wanna learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing. In addition to learning and knowing everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide to email marketing. As I just mentioned, email marketing is pivotal to your success as an affiliate marketer. So make sure you click that first link, uh, get that email guide, and I'll see you in the next video.